What's up guys and welcome to another episode of El Jardín Perito. Today, we're making a living arbor. All right guys, so a few years ago, I had an opportunist mulberry start growing here. And after some trial and error of buying some not so pricey arbors online at Amazon and whatnot, they kept getting damaged, falling apart due to the weather, erosion, rust, stuff like that. So I thought up a nice idea here. People make living furniture all the time and things of this nature. Living arches are also not that uncommon. But what I ended up doing was training this mulberry and I've also planted another one on the other side. And so I'll show you guys in a second, but what we're getting now is something that'll be a permanent structure. It's not gonna wear away. The sun's not gonna damage it anything because these are native and they thrive here. So if you'll see here on this side, this is only a few years old, but that's where it started. It's gonna kind of meander around and as you can see, it's kind of crude, but I have anchored it down with various nylon strings and such. Um, kind of a shoddy job, but it's getting it done. And basically what happens is you'll get these water shoots or just any kind of shoots that are going straight up and you're gonna start training them to bend over an arch. On this other side, this is a very young transplant, but I do have another mulberry what I'm going to do is eventually conjoin the two of them. I know this is kind of frowned upon in the plant world, um, you know, letting things girdle and using nylon, but it does the job. And what's happening is it's conjoining several of the branches. And sometimes, you know, you'll want to prune normally a fruit tree so that it doesn't do this. But some of these crossing branches are growing into each other. And that's what I want. I want the canopy to start crisscrossing, merging into each other, and I want the two trees to merge. So I routinely cut the tops here and stuff, and uh, if it gets too out of hand, because I want more of that energy growing into what essentially will just be kind of an ornate trunk. So at some point, I will let one of the leaders kind of take over here and we won't have all this foliage. It'll start building some strength in there. And then this will just kind of be an archway that's also a trunk. So I think that'll be pretty cool. Ideally this winter while the tree was in dormancy, I wanted to do some pruning. I wanted to make this a little prettier, but the way things are going now, it's not too bad. Um, as things progress, you know, maybe this will get in my way. You know, I'm around six, one, six feet. So, you know, some of these branches that stick out and stuff I'll do some maintenance on those but um, I can come and prune heavy when it goes back into dormancy right now there's nothing that crazy it still needs a lot of work growing in the arch area but I'd say we're off to a good start all right so some tips on doing this this is actually my first time um, I've trained trees, I've pruned them, I've done some things. This is my first time literally making an arbor like this. But some tips I can pass along. Make sure your tree is native. Make sure it can withstand your climate and it's gonna last a long time. You don't want something that you're gonna have to baby. Also, um, the fact that it thrives well here, it's resistant to drought, it's resistant to high heat, it's uh, hardy in the winter. So all around, these things are gonna last for a while. The other factor here is that they're basically weeds. They'll grow really fast. So you can get a lot more progress that way. So yeah, generally just find something that works good for your area. When you're bending branches and stuff, do that while they're young. Um, if you let the thing shoot up like crazy, you ignore it, um, it's gonna start getting a little more rigid. That's another plus about mulberries. For the most part, they're pretty pliable. Certain times of the year, maybe a little more than others. But yeah, everything seems to be working well now. I also have some grapevines growing into this um, and I have some roses. So when this is dormant, I have climbing roses going through it. So in the winter, that looks pretty nice. Another big plus being that they're mulberries. I can show you guys, but we have a ton of fruit set on here too. So it's functional in a number of ways. It's edible. And these are all definitely positive aspects. So yeah, as you can see, this thing is absolutely loaded with mulberries and that's gonna be pretty awesome. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for today's video. I just wanted to keep uh, 
a nice little update here. I know I haven't been that avid about making videos. In my previous videos you've seen, I've gone through some hardships in the garden. I have been doing a lot of maintenance lately and I'm kind of making a revival. So expect a lot more videos in the upcoming months. If you guys have any questions, be sure to drop those in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. This is kind of an experimental thing, but coincidentally it's working pretty well. I always do a little research, but I also put my own twist on things. And so far, so good with this project. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for tuning in. Until next time.